What we do is um, shine a light essentially on the hidden value of owned media assets. Uh, we've created a tool called Mavmetric, uh, which essentially assigns a media asset value to any owned media asset that a business will have. Okay, so it, get, break it down into basics for us. I mean, you, you're saying that traditionally for business, uh, investments into websites and things like that, databases, apps, packaging, that sort of thing, has been viewed as a cost for a business. Are you saying that it should no longer be viewed as a cost? Absolutely not. You know, I think it's a, an old world view that um, these sorts of assets are viewed as a cost to business, a cost that is accepted and written off as a necessity. Um, because what that creates is an attitude of lazy assets, you know, assets that are not being leveraged uh, to their full maximum value extraction. Um, and Mavmetric changes all of that. So essentially what businesses can now do is very quickly, very accurately assign uh, a media asset value uh, to all of these assets. And how do you leverage from that? So from there, businesses have um, three significant levers they can pull from there. So you can uh, start to monetize these owned assets and create uh, profitable new revenue streams. You can negotiate better commercial terms with partners and suppliers. And thirdly, you can reduce your reliance and wastage in paid media. Can you give us a practical example of what you're, what you're talking about, Angus? Yeah, absolutely. So um, at a global level, we recently did a uh, Mavmetric for the US Postal Service. Now this is obviously right at the high end in terms of media asset value. Uh, but what we found was using publicly available information, uh, their media assets conservatively are worth $5.7 billion. Now if they commercialise this, they could be talking about up to $2.6 per annum. So any which way you look at it, there is huge money uh, at play here.